Here's a probability conundrum that we looked at in an earlier video, a conundrum that gets to the heart of what's tricky about inference. Suppose we have a coin, possibly biased. One scientist tosses it 12 times, gets three heads, and estimates that the probability of heads is 25%. Another scientist tosses it four times, gets one head, and comes up with exactly the same estimate. They've estimated exactly the same probability but surely one of them should be more confident than the other. Inference is the study of how to reason about confidence and uncertainty. We've seen one approach already, Bayesianism. Let's just remind ourselves how a Bayesian measures confidence. Let's just take this top scientist, the one who tossed their coin 12 times, and ask how confident should they be in their answer of 25%. The Bayesianist thinks everything is about degree of belief in explanations. They ask themselves, in the light of the data that we actually saw, how does this impact my degree of belief about the different possible explanations? Here, in this coin toss example, an explanation is a statement about the unknown parameter's value. For example, p equals a half or p equals a quarter. We can call this the engineer's approach. They see what they're given, and they think, what's a reasonable explanation for it? But there's another approach, a mystical, transcendental way to see the world. The mystic says to themselves, I saw three heads and concluded p hat equals 25% in this reality. But what happened in all the other dimensions of the multiverse? What p hat did they see? After all, the exact number three is random. If you repeat the experiment with another 12 tosses, you could well get a different number of heads. It's crazy to base our scientific inferences on something that's just chance. Much better to look across the entire multiverse and look at the spread of p-hat values found by parallel data scientists in parallel universes and use this spread of values to measure our uncertainty in p-hat. This approach is called frequentist. That's all very good if, like the Ancient One or like Doctor Strange, you have the power to actually perceive all the parallel universes. But if all you have is a Jupyter notebook, you need some tricks. The practical way to sort of look at the multiverse is with simulation. To ask yourself, how can I simulate the datasets in the parallel universe, given what I've just seen? Let's say, for example, we have a data set of temperature readings in Cambridge. What we want to do is simulate what these readings might have been. For each different simulated data set, we'll get a different readout for the quantity we're interested in. In this case, the rate of temperature increase. We'll look at the spread and take that spread to measure how confident we should be in our answer. This leaves a great big question. How do we actually simulate the parallel universe datasets? In the next three videos, we'll look at how we might simulate it and at some of the standard ways to report confidence in our readouts. But before clicking next video, this is a good time to stop and think, how would you simulate an alternative reality climate dataset based on what we've learnt in the course so far?